Hello collective, welcome to another Pick a Oracle reading. So these messages are going to be for the upcoming two weeks. We're going to see what Spirit wants you to know. These messages are timeless, so whenever you click on the reading, that's when the messages could resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. We have Pile 1, Pile 2, and Pile 3. So I want you to ground yourself and see which pile is calling you the most. You can pick more than one pile if you feel called to do so. So I'm going to give you a few moments and then we'll jump right into the reading. Hello, Pile One. So we're going to take a look at what you can anticipate for the upcoming two weeks. So let's see what is your message. We have transformation and love begin. So for some of you, you could be a Scorpio, the number 13, 4, 31, 1 or 3. Specifically, the number 1 could be significant. Somebody could be seeing 11, 11. 111 for some of you your life is definitely getting ready um to transform when it comes to love for some of you this is self-love i'm getting um healing for some of you i'm hearing grieving so for some of you you could be grieving over the loss of some type of relationship in your life um be it a loss you know where somebody has transitioned um the loss of a romantic partnership I'm also hearing for some of you the loss of a job, but I feel like there's an immense amount of healing that's coming in for you in the next two weeks. And you're going to be able to gain a higher understanding regarding the situation, power number one. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what spirit wants you to know. Why is transformation and love begins here for... Pile one. Why is transformation and love here? For some of you too, with this transformation and love begins, I feel like there's going to be someone um, who's going to have a new perspective on you. This is definitely someone from your past. I feel like ever since you've detached from this person, you've had some type of glow up. You've definitely learned how to love yourself more. And this is something that this person didn't anticipate. So somebody is just shocked at how much you value yourself and just how much you've changed. Give me an energy for transformation and love. I feel like somebody is seeing you from an entirely different perspective because of this. Something is definitely being renewed in you. I feel like you um, are having a new energy. I'm actually hearing the song, New Attitude. Spirit, tell me why is transformation and love begins here for power number one. What is the energy? Why is transformation and love begin here for power number one? What do you want them to know for the next two weeks? What's the energy? I have the Seven of Swords. Tell me more. Why is transformation and love begins here for Power One? What's the energy spirit? Why is this here? The High Priestess. So for some of you, you need to trust your intuition about somebody in your life, Power One. This is definitely somebody you have um, love for. For some of you, um, I'm even hearing a child. This could be your very own child, but somebody has been lying to you and you already know that whoever this person is, be it a family member, a close friend, you already know that this person has not been upfront with you, that somebody has been deceitful. And I feel like once this truth is revealed to you, it's going to change the way you see this person. For some of you, you're definitely not going to trust this person anymore. Give me an energy for the Seven of Swords. But you definitely need to um, trust your intuition regarding someone in your energy i'm also getting for some of you a child could be um not being honest with you your child could be going out at night in the wee hours of the night so be mindful of that give me an energy for the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here 
I have the Ten of Wands and the Fool. For some of you, there's somebody that you're connected to um, that is not being honest with you regarding how they feel when it comes to a relationship. This person feels burdened and they're ready to move on. Or this is you. You feel burdened in a connection and you've been keeping this to yourself and you're finally ready to take this leap. You're finally ready to move in an entirely different direction. And I feel like with the Ace of Cups, you're going to be choosing yourself. Give me an energy for the Ten of Wands. Aquarius energy on the Fool. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Power One? What is the energy? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Oh, give me something for the fool. Why is the fool here for power one? What's the message? The Knight of Wands. I'm just getting the energy of a free spirit. Like you're literally letting go of a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens. You're starting to transform the way you see a situation, the way you, you see life in general. For some of you, the Seven of Swords is just you lying to yourself about something that has been burdening you, something that has been very hard for you, and you're finally releasing it in the next two weeks. Give me another energy for the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Pile One? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Pile One? What is the energy? Why is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit? I have the Nine of Swords in the world. So somebody's going to be devastated because you're closing out a cycle. Or this is you. You're going to be devastated because somebody's going to be closing out a cycle with you. Something is ending in the next two weeks. Because it's too top heavy. It's too much stress. For some of you, it gives you a lot of anxiety. We have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. I feel like once you walk away from the situation, and for some of you, I am getting a job, that's when your life is going to transform. That is when these blessings are going to come in. But first, you have to take that leap. You have to be willing to close out one cycle in order to begin anew. Give me an energy for the High Priestess. For some of you, where you have been looking for a job, you are going to be receiving a call back. Somebody may be actually calling you in for a second interview. That message is very specific for someone. Give me an energy on the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for... Pile 1. Why is the High Priestess here? For pile one, what is the energy spirit? The Knight of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, you're going to be going through an expansion when it comes to your gift. I feel like there's a new gift or I'm seeing multiple gifts that are getting ready to be passed down to you through your lineage. You're going through an awakening in the next two weeks when it comes to your spiritual gifts. Some of you may um, start to experience a lot of headaches and nausea as well, but that's because of this ascension that you're going to be going through. Give me an energy for the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The Three of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? What's the energy? The Emperor. So I feel like for some of you, you have an emperor energy coming in, Aries, or this is you. Somebody wants to come in and make a long-term investment in you. Somebody wants to commit. Somebody wants to offer you this cup here, this ace of cups. Somebody wants to start over. They want a new beginning. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to come in and give you a commitment. This person is coming towards you, collective. For some of you, this is somebody who already left you out in the cold. They moved away from the situation. But I feel like gradually this person has, you know, discovered something new about you. Like somebody can finally see you for who you truly are. They see your worth. They know you are a good investment. 
And now for some of you, I'm going back to work again. There's going to be someone that has their eyes on you. For some of you, you have a platform, social media. There's some type of boss figure that is watching you. They like your content. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Somebody wants to make you an offer. Somebody wants to give you an opportunity. For some of you, you may have to travel for this. For some of you, you may have to actually relocate. Give me an energy for the Knight of Pentacles. But somebody definitely wants to work with you here. Give me another energy for the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a new opportunity coming in here, pile number one. I feel like um, for some of you, you've definitely been waiting on this. And your ships are coming in. For some of you, too, with this Emperor, I feel like you're in this energy. Um, you could be your own boss. You can run your own company. Things are going to um, start to pick up for you, especially when it comes to sales. Something is very specific about sales and travel for you, Pile One. Give me an energy for the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for Pile One? What is the energy? Why is the Three of Wands here for Pile One? What's the energy spirit? The sun, emotional fulfillment, Leo energy. Listen, you're going to be very happy. You're going to be basking in the sun. I feel like you have a whole bunch of opportunities coming in for you, work-related, um, romance, spiritual blessings. God is really getting ready to fill your cup and this is going to change your life. This is a permanent change, a significant change for you, but it's going to bring you so much happiness and peace. Whatever that you have been waiting on is coming in. Something could be significant about three months. But get prepared to set sail here, pile one. Beautiful energy, beautiful reading. Um, just make sure if you are a parent, make sure you, um, you talk to your child. Something's very significant about that. Make sure you're having open communication with your child. Um, somebody can have a child here that's 16, a daughter. Yeah, like open the lines of communication. Um, I feel like your child just wants to know that you love her. Or him. Yeah, make sure that you're showing your, your your child or children a lot of love in the next two weeks. I'm hearing quality time with you. So definitely um, spend some quality time with your kids in the next two weeks. That's going to be very important. I feel like it's really going to change the dynamic of your relationship. And it don't have to be anything huge. It could just be going for a walk, going for a drive, riding on a beach. Like, make sure that um, you make that a top priority for you within the next two weeks. I feel like you're definitely going to be present, pleasantly surprised. Give me an energy for Pile One. A final message, please. Give me a final message for Pile One. What is the energy? Give me a final message for power one. What's the message spirit? I have communicate honestly and directly. Don't assume set boundaries. Remember, it's okay just to say no. Open communication is key for you in the next two weeks. And I'm hearing pouring out your love. So for some of you, you're going to be very expressive or this is something that spirit is calling for you you to do be very expressive especially when it comes to your family your loved ones your children um i'm hearing little red corvette and i'm hearing the keys to your car so for some of you you may need to um tell your child no when it comes to borrowing your car i'm also hearing something about leasing as well somebody may want you to um sign your name on a lease for them the answer needs to be no so there's somebody in your life that's going to ask you for something for some of you this is borrowing your car for others of you this is a situation where somebody's trying to get you into like a legal binding contract spirit is saying the answer is no and there's a reason for this 
for you to say no. I feel like in the long run, you'll be thankful that you did. Because if you do, it's not going to turn out how you think it is. And especially make sure um, you don't let your child borrow your car. I'm hearing fast. So something about speed is very significant. That's a side message for someone. So pile one, this is your messages. Only take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Now we're moving on to pile two.